Hi students, welcome back. Now coming to the another program. Here I'm explaining the program to demonstrate the predefined streams. So whatever this predefined streams that I explained in the previous video, I'm going to explain in the program. So predefined streams are nothing but what in out error. So these three are the predefined streams. I'm talking about the streams in Java programming language. Okay. Suppose if you want to enter the data through keyboard, so how to uh, handle? Generally, uh, this program I'm explaining to understand uh, the commands only, okay? How, uh, how to use the in, how to use out, how to use and error, okay? Generally, the Java is an internet application. You all know that Java is an internet application. So, we won't enter data in the command prompt. Everything it's an internet application. So, dynamic data is up entering on the user side, right? So, it is... Uh, we are not trying to enter. The user is not uh, trying to enter in the command prompt. So this concept, whatever I am explaining here, this concept is simplified using scanner concept in the coming uh, next sessions. But now here I am explaining this program to understand the commands. What is in, what is out and what is error. Okay, predefined streams. Now let's see. So the predefined streams, whatever the predefined streams are there that are present in the java.io.star package. io.lan package also. Okay, java.lang. Uh, uh, package it will be this java.lang. system package. You are having all these. Okay, I'm just mentioning dot star so that I can use all the methods, uh, constructors, whatever it may be, classes that are comes under this package. Now, a class sample is loaded, open press executed, main method is called. So in the main method, first try block. So try block here I'm used to write the task of my program task I'm going to write. What I'm trying. My aim here is I'm entering the data through keyboard. That data has to be printed on the command prompt. That's it, right? So for that, I'm just uh, taking a byte. Okay, byte b equal to new byte 10. Okay, a byte object is created. So it is going to allocate 10 bytes. 10 bytes allocated in where? Allocated in RAM. So, 10 bytes is going to allocate it in RAM. So, now I am calling system.out.print. Out. Out.print. Out so, here I am, uh, this message is going to display on the command prompt. Enter any number. It is displaying any number and the cursor will be here only. Okay, you need to enter here because I had used the print, not print ln. So, then you, you are supposed to enter the number. Let enter 73. Now, System dot in dot read. So this 73 is read from the, by using the keyboard. Okay. If you want to enter the data here, enter any number, the cursor is here. If you want to enter the data here, this method you need to be called. Right or wrong? System dot in dot read. So in dot read is a method which is used to enter the data from keyboard that I already explained in the previous video. Read is a method which is present in java dot i dot i dot star. So this method is used to enter the data from keyboard. So with the help of the keyboard, okay, I am entering the data 73. Okay, so this is of type what? It is a uh, type integer. It's a byte. Okay, this byte which is stored here, stored in byte array. It is stored in byte array. Now, I am using, I am calling a class string. String s1 is equal to new string and I am storing this byte here. So, why I am using this uh, string s1 is equal to new string? Because to convert into string, whatever the byte is there, that we need to convert into string. This is a byte array. That byte array is converted into string. Okay, I converted into string. Then what I am doing here? I am next calling another method. String S2 is equal to S1 dot trim. What is the use of this method? This trim method, whatever I had used in here, uh, I had written here, it is used to, it is used to remove extra spaces. Trim extra spaces allocates Okay, it removes the uh, extra spaces and allocates memory, 
allocates memory to only enter data whatever the data that you entered so for that only it allocates the memory so it rest uh, and removes the extra spaces okay first converts whatever the byte array into the string i converted and i removed the extra spaces now whatever the string that is there okay removes the extra spaces and allocates memory to the enter data so now s2 contains only the enter data and extra spaces are removed so that enter data has to be converted into parsing why i need to convert into parsing because s2 whatever it is of string type but whatever the data that i want to be accessed is of integer type so you have to convert that string into integer type so by using the parsint method this parsint method is present in integer class so that's why integer dot parsint of s2 so whatever the string string that i entered that is 73 i entered so which is of string type that is converted into integer type and stored in x and that is going to be printed that is going to be printed okay so suppose if any exception is occurred suppose you didn't enter the data or something you have just entered the space or something you have done any mistake here then it throws an io exception io exception input output ex exception will be thrown okay so whatever you enter in the command prompt enter any number is displayed there you are entering 73 press enter 73 is going to be displayed so this is a simple program to demonstrate the predefined streams what is the predefined streams here i had used error is a predefined stream okay i use the int is a predefined stream and out is a predefined stream so out is a predefined stream which is used to display on the command prompt enter any number okay in is is a predefined which is used to read the data from keyboard i am reading the data from keyboard by using in if any error is occur error is a keyword so this is a predefined stream which is used to display whenever an error is occurred okay i hope you understand what's what are these commands are okay so generally uh java we won't enter data in command prompt so everything we will work on the application only so this concept can be simplified by using the scanner concept right so i i want to show you a small difference a system dot i said system dot out right and i also explain system dot error what is the difference between this system dot out and system dot error can you guess what is the difference System dot out means it is used to display output messages. It is used to display output messages. Actually, the uh, out and error both are present in print stream class. Right or wrong? Both are present in print stream class, and this print stream is a uh, super class of system class. Right? So out it is used to display output message. Then error. It is used to display error message. Display error message. Then next one. This stream, system.out stream, this stream data can be redirect to a file. Redirect to a file. We can, there is a possibility of redirected to a file. It, this stream data whatever the data that is appeared that can be redirected to a file that can be stored in a file right but here this stream data cannot be redirected to a file it's a basic difference you you can by reading the predefined function itself you can understand if any error is occurred the data cannot be redirected to a file system dot out means the data is going to be redirected to a file whether it is a correct output or wrong output whatever it may be it is redirected to a file but whenever error is occurred that stream cannot the, the data cannot be redirected to a file okay so i hope you understand still if you are facing any doubts please let me know thank you